uh, Josh Thomas here from Rupert and Josh Do Stuff uh, with another movie review. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the 2017 movie adaptation of the Stephen King novel It. Uh, it, as I said, 2017 adaptation of the Stephen King book, published in 1986, uh, about an evil sewer dwelling entity named Pennywise, the dancing clown, who haunts a group of friends, uh, first as children and then later, 27 years later, as adults in the town of Derry, Maine. It's all about these uh, the Losers Club, as they dub themselves, and their efforts to stop Pennywise. Um, this was a, right off the bat, this was a very good movie. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, there is a previous adaptation, there was the 1990 TV movie. Um, I'm the person to come out, a lot of people I know, especially my age range, really hold that in high esteem, really value it. I personally don't. I think Tim Curry is excellent as Pennywise, but I think there's not a lot of merit other than that in it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, your usual Stephen King miniseries fair. Um, I'm a huge fan of King's works, so going into this film, I had a lot of expectations. I read the novel first when I was about 13, 14, and absolutely loved it. So, obviously, going into this, really high uh, expectations. Moving, I mean, to start with the cast, uh, Bill Skarsgård uh, stars in this film as Pennywise. Um, terrifically menacing performance, absolutely terrifying. Very different to Curry's. Curry's is very whimsy that turns to anger, his starts off just incredibly creepy, and even the moments where he's being friendly and all that, it, it carries an underlying menace. So it's nice to see that he didn't just go and cut and paste a previously quite well-regarded performance. Um, Jacob Lieberer, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, plays um, Bill, uh, the lead whose brother Georgie is uh, taken by Pennywise at the beginning of the film. Uh, like all of the cast in his Losers Club in this film, all of the kids in this film are terrific. Often when you cast children, in movies like this, you get some sort of hokey performances, maybe a bit overacted. All of these people, all of the, the kids who act in this film are, are terrific. Some of them have previous experience. I know that uh, Finn Wolfhard plays Richie, uh, was in Stranger Things on Netflix, of people uh, already knew what to expect from, from his performance. Um, and I think Sophia Lillis, who plays Beverly, was excellent as well. Just the whole Losers Club, but Richie, in a sort of part of his own, he's an incredibly quotable character, um, full of just filth. Uh, really. Um, this film updates the setting from the novel as well. It takes it from the 1950s and moves it to the, the late 80s, um, which is great because it, it, this film isn't just a horror film. It's, it's more like a horror film, but also has these, these teen bonding moments. It's more like a Spielbergian sort of E.T. thing crossed with Tales from the Crypt. It, it's got these lovely moments of sort of, you know, 80s pop rock and they're all enjoying their summer, compounded by, uh, you know, the fact that there's this horrible evil clown in the sewers trying to eat them. Uh, the production of this film was, was also really good. Uh, it's directed by Andy Muschietti, who had previously directed Mama. I was not a fan of that. I liked the short film he did, but I really didn't like the, the full feature length edition. However, this film, he really comes into his own. It's a long movie. It comes in somewhere around two and a quarter hours running time and only adapts the first half of the novel. It's only adapts the kids' side of the story. We are already now confirmed to be getting it chapter two. We're getting that on the 9th of September, 2019, I believe. Um, but the look of the film was great. They really captured that sort of spirit of the time. I mean, some of it is really in your face, like a cinema going, look, Batman's playing and, you know, playing like Street Fighter in an arcade. But other than that, it, it really does nail its sort of look, feel and, and sense of the time. The scares in this film are terrific. I went and saw this film with my mum, who does watch a fair few horror films. She likes coming to watch horror films with me. And she said this was the scariest film she's ever seen. She was sinking into her chair more and more. Um, the scares are delivered really well, uh, not just relying on jumps, but just really building and slowly building a menace. Every kid's got their fears, and there's probably going to be something in there for everyone that plays on something that they really uh, found frightening as kids. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to the upcoming sequel of this film. I really enjoyed this film, I think. Everything about it. Uh, screams of a, a great Stephen King adaptation and not just the usual sort of getting one out there. It's going up there with things like The Shining and uh, the recent Netflix Gerald's Game, which was a terrific adaptation. If you haven't seen that, I recommend checking that out. Uh, going into the film, I had high hopes from the promotional material, obviously loving the novel as uh, a kid. And I'm pleased to say that the movie uh, adaptation of this film doesn't just sort of exceed its genre expectations, it sort of floats above them. And uh, I think that it, it has its roots very much handed down in both genres and handles them really well. So I'm going to be giving it a 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the review, be sure to check out any of the more plentiful reviews we have on the channel. And uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.